Hello everyone, we are from group 17, Hustle and Flow, and my name is Xiao Ying. In this video, I'm going to explain to you on experiment 3, Impact of Jack. As you can see, this is the apparatus for impact of Jack. For the first one is the pointer, then second is spring tension adjuster, the third one is a wing nut, the fourth one is the interchangeable target, which I will be expanding on this later on, for fifth, is brass weight. Number six is the weight carrier. Number seven is weight platform. The platform is for us to put the brass weight on it. The number eight one is the spring, and the spring is to control the height of target. For number nine is the screw nut. Lastly is the interchangeable nozzle. For the nozzle, we will use nozzle with diameter of five mm and eight mm. And it is in this experiment, if you change the nozzle and the target respectively to see the difference of height, and you use ruler to measure the difference of height at the pointer there. These are the interchangeable target that we use in this experiment and also known as geometry of target. We use five different geometry of target in this experiment, which are flat 180 degree target, 120 degree conical target, hemisphere target invert, hemisphere target outward, and lastly, 30 degree flat target. These are the result of our experiment. As you can see, we use two different diameter of nozzle, which are 5 mm and 8 mm. And the flow rate we use in this experiment is 10 meter per minute. In each type of nozzle, we try with different geometry of target. In overall, we found that when we use 5 mm of nozzle, the change in height is greater compared to 8 mm of nozzle. These are the steps for us to calculate in the result part. Let us take 180 degree flat target as example. First, we have to convert the meter of nozzle D to meter, which is 0 0.005 meter. Then, we can calculate the area of nozzle at N by using the formula of pi r square or pi the meter square over 4. In the third step, we have to convert the volumetric flow rate Q of 10 liter per minute to meter cube per second. Next, the velocity of nozzle Vn can be calculated by using the formula volumetric flow rate Q divided by area of nozzle AM. The fifth step is the changes of height, the measure value that we obtain from the experiment. Next, we can calculate the impact of velocity by using this formula. Lastly, we need to calculate the force. In this experiment, the fluid we use in the impact of jet is water. So, we use the density of water, 1000 kg over meter cube. Then we can use this formula to find the value of force. In this experiment, we found out that when we use smaller diameter of nozzle, which is 8 mm of nozzle, we can get lower overall of pressure in the impact object. As a result, we actually can get lower or smaller difference of height. Last but not least, the accuracy of the experiment can be improved by reducing some of the errors and recommend some new method to avoid the errors. The first error is weak and poor attachment of target. The height difference may be very when the targets are not attached right above the nozzle. Hence, the pressure exerted by water to the nozzle might not be at the right angles. And the recommendation is firm insulation and attachment of target. The person who is in charge of varying the target in the impact object should position the target in the direct middle above the nozzle. The next error is parallax error. When the eyes of observer is not perpendicular to the reading of ruler when taking the reading from the ruler. To avoid the parallax error, 
the eyes of the observer should be perpendicular to the scale of ruler when taking the reading. Besides, the experiment can be carried out for a few times to obtain the average reading. Thank you for watching this video.